Hi, I'm Karen Stintz, President and CEO of Variety Village and Variety of the Children's Charity. As our year wraps up, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for helping us make the impact that we're making, both here in Scarborough at the Village and all across Ontario for all kids with disabilities. I want to take a minute to show you what we've achieved together. Come with me. I'd like to introduce you to our best volunteers that we've had at Variety Village, George and John. Not only are these guys regulars at the Village, they support us in all of our campaigns to make sure that we help kids with disabilities get the most that they can get, not just over the holidays, but all year round. Now we're at our trophy case, and I wanted to bring you here so that we could celebrate the over 2,300 hours of recreational and competitive play that we were able to provide kids with a disability this year at the Village and throughout Ontario. We are so proud of our athletes and our coaches, and our sports include track and field, wheelchair basketball, weightlifting, taekwondo, swimming, and volt hockey. Volt hockey is a new emerging sport that we're really, really proud of, and I'm holding the cup because our team went to Sweden and scored third place in a high division, and we're so proud of them. Keep it going, Volt. We're now not only in Toronto and in Scarborough, but we're across Ontario, and this year we're growing stronger than ever. Again, thanks to the provincial government for believing in us and investing $350,000 to grow our Volt team. Hi, I bet you're not gonna guess where we are now. I'll tell you in just a second, but I'm very excited about this project. We heard from many of you over the years how terrible the washrooms were for the men and women in the aquatics wing. So with the help of the Jeremiah Coughlin Foundation, we have been able to refresh both the men's and women's change room for the aquatics wing, and this is what it looks like. And in just a couple months in the new year, we will be able to unveil these new washrooms and change rooms, and you are going to be amazed. It is so wonderful what we've been able to do, and I can't wait until we're finished, and we are excited to welcome you back. And now we are in the room where our adult day program runs. And thanks to a grant by CIBC, we've been able to reinvest not just in the capital infrastructure for the program, but also in how the program has been designed so that we can support more adults with intellectual and physical disabilities, get the skills that they need to live independently, to socialize, to work, and of course to have fun. We are so grateful to all of those that are in the program, to CIBC, and to our team here at Variety Village for making this program come together in such an impactful way and making such a difference for those in the community. And now we're in the lounge. The lounge is actually part of the original building when Variety Village was constructed over 70 years ago uh, as a boys' school for kids with disabilities. Uh, but you can imagine over 70 years the room got tired. So thank you to the federal government, we were able to reinvest in this room and make it again another welcoming space for our programming and also to support uh, people who use the village for their birthday parties and special events and activities that support the community as a whole. We are so grateful to the federal government and to all of you who have taken advantage of this space and help make Variety Village what it is today, a place for inclusive programming and recreational opportunities for kids with disabilities, young adults with disabilities, and people of all abilities throughout the community. Thank you. And now, meet Bruce. Bruce the Accessible Goose. Bruce was an installation at the X this summer by Access Now. And uh, after the CD wrapped up, they needed a home for Bruce and thought of Variety Village. So Access Now called us and said, could you find a home for Bruce? And we said yes. Bruce is an example of accessibility and that's what we're all about. So Bruce was able to find a natural home here in our garden. So we're looking forward to next spring when Bruce can oversee our community. Next time you're at Variety Village, come say hi to Bruce.